Hello Zebra Herd. We are back to clean up more of Bikini Bottom in the Power Wash Simulator SpongeBob SquarePants DLC. In today's video, we clean up the Bikini Bottom bus as well as the Krusty Krab. Let's get started. So we're starting things off in the super spooky rock bottom. Hard to get back up from here, but if we can clean up this bus, maybe we'll have our ticket out of here. So let's get to it. We have this whole bus here. We also have a, a bunch of dirt to clean off of it. Okay, you're doing it. Terrific. Here's my best joke. Oh, Squidward. <laughs> Gonna give us a joke here as we clean this up as much as we can. And look at how vibrant orange it is underneath all of that. So that'll be pretty cool to do. I probably wanna change some things here. I got some soap here if I wanted to. We can start with the soap. Uh, what's gray has eight legs, nine brains, and dies after mating. Uh, you got me there, Squidward. I have no clue. All right, we got everything soaped up on this side too. Let's go ahead and get one of the bigger nozzles on. I think that might be a good idea. Oh no, wrong book, hang on. Okay, now I'm really confused. What are you trying to get at here, Squidward? Anyways, we're getting the front of this cleaned up. I probably just wanna work on like the windshield a little bit, but everything comes off so smoothly when it is soaked up, which is really nice. Honestly, it's crazy how vibrant orange everything is here under all this green gook. There we go, we got that one headlight cleaned. We're gonna make this one a quick job. I have a feeling we'll be able to get through this pretty fast. Over here, we got this nice white tire underneath all this sand. Let's try to, Ooh, what was that noise? Whoa, some creepy noises happening around here. Can we take a bathroom break? Can we, can we go inside of here? I don't need to clean any, any of this, do I? I don't think so, as well as the restrooms. Uh, the doors are huge, <laughs> or maybe we're really tidy. We can get some food. I, I just wanna explore around a little bit. Uh, some kelp. Cool, I don't think I can uh, do much here. But that's pretty fun. Uh, let's move back over this way and just keep working on stuff. For right now I have this tire. Got it. And then over here, we probably just have to get the back side of it a little bit. I wonder if we can get under? Oh, sort of, kind of. I guess we'd be better off yet yeah, doing it like this and just sort of going across that way. So I'll have to go onto the other side a little bit, but we got the hubcap all cleaned off. Got a little bit more right over here. The underside is so dirty. <laughs> that makes sense. I feel like that would be most likely the dirtiest part of the car. Wait a minute, what book was that? That's what I was asking, Squidward. All right, let's go ahead and clean all that up. This is going pretty well. Ooh, we got that part. That was just the, uh, I guess it's like the, the hubcap of it. We're almost done with the tire. There's only a tiny little bit left with it, and I think it's back here probably, I had to guess. Let's try to get this one too. I think I need to change to something a little bit more precise. There we go, tire cleaned. Got lots of underbelly stuff over here. The base panel, yeah, that needs to be cleaned off. And we'll get a ladder to go up to that other spot soon enough. But, you know, I think we picked up a lot of skills in the last episode when it comes to uh, just really looking around and making sure that everything is squeaky clean. So, just trying to make the most of that here. I'll clean up some of this too. This really does come off super easy. I don't know if it's because we soaked it up, but I'd imagine it is. Okay, I think this tire, the tire is good. The outer wheel is good. On the back, the wheel axe, inner wheel is missing a little something. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. What about this one? This tire still needs work somewhere. Okay, I definitely see. Oh, there we go. Makes a lot more sense. I'll clean off some of this too. Ooh, so satisfying just to go through like this. That's great. Uh, but I need to mostly focus on all of this down here because it's actually really dirty still. There we go. Get that all cleaned up. I think this might be a decent spot where we can uh, probably change our nozzles soon. But I got all that cleaned up. I think we're good. The base panel still has a lot to do. But I think this front part's pretty much done. We can uh, continue to work on the base panel a little bit here. I wish we could get even lower, or if we could like raise up the, the, the bus a little bit, that'd also be nice, but unfortunately can't do that. Whoa, look at this. It's just so vibrant compared to what we're currently dealing with. Uh, really shows that we're doing a good job. 
Let's go back with all of this. Wow, this covers up so much. I think we can stand back up from here. But we got this deeper layer of, of dirt and that's not being removed as easily. I'll have to go through again with a much more like fine, stronger nozzle, I think. We'll work on cleaning up some of these right here, this porthole window. There we go, found it. So what book is he talking about now? I think he's talking about the actual joke book. All right, there we go. Got the outer wheel cleaned both times there. Now we go to the inside. This bus has seen better days, but how does the pirate ask another pirate what a regional accent, what regional accent it has? Uh, I don't know. How are you? <laughs> Got you. I think I may have heard some better jokes than that one, but it's not a bad one. I think. Okay, so far so good. We got that hubcap cleaned on the backside. The wheel axle too. I think I need to stand up here. There you go. Yeah, a lot of you let me know in that first video of this power washing DLC that you wanted to see more. So of course we're back playing more and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it so much. It is a really cool game. A lot of you were asking if I could play the full normal game. We'll have to see, you know, by the time we get complete this, if you guys still want to see that, then maybe. Obviously, there's a lot of games going on right now, but I always try my best to cover, like, cool SpongeBob stuff, because I know a lot of you guys really like that. Okay, got a lot going on over here. There we go. I think we'll deal with all that later. If I could just focus on the wheels and some of the lower level stuff, just try to work my way around like that. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. But overall, we're making some fast work of this stuff. So, clean up some of this. Got it. Uh, ah, here it is. My greatest joke. This is definitely it. Are these your jokes? I thought they were from a joke book. I don't know what he means by his greatest joke. Okay, have a little bit more to clean up over there. Ooh, got this back panel all finished up. Which ancient cephalopod demanded a seat at King Neptune's table? Uh, I'm not really good at ocean themed jokes, so I'm just gonna let him tell me. I think we got most of everything here. Oh, this outdoor wheel, there it goes. Uh, okay, let's get back to it. The Ammonite. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Squidward. I wish I did, but I just don't know much, much about cephalopods, to be honest with you. Maybe I should learn some more. Okay, we got this side. Let's clean up the back over here. I'm a knight, I'm a knight, get it, oh, okay, it's a pun, gotcha. Well, I'm glad we know now, the tail tip cleaned up there. Just trying to get the propellers now, which we still have a little bit somewhere, oh, right there, that's it. Okay, pretty cool there. I think at this point we should probably work on this, and the work on this, I think we just need you know, like a finer tip. What if we did this one, is that good enough? Oh, that is. Nice, cleaning this up too. Under this window, a little bit under here. I will say Squidward's jokes do at least help distract me from the scariness that is this whole rock bottom area. There we go. I do wanna try to yeah, get this window a little bit because I do see those darker streaks on the window. It goes a little bit more over here, which the center panel still needs work, but we'll, we'll do that later. Here we go. Get some of that, and I'll have to jump around a little bit more too, but I think we'll just do that in due time. Just trying to get what I can reach from here, and then we'll go around with the ladder, get on top of the bus. Wait, one more time. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave that for later too. Uh, ooh, there's still some underside parts that could definitely be worked on. Got it. And this is where I can probably, there's not as deep like smudge marks on this side. Let me make extra sure of that. But if there isn't, I could probably switch to a wider nozzle. We can go really fast like this. And whoa, this is great. <laughs> Maybe I'm not moving as fast as I could through this game. But you know what? Sometimes it's just better to take it slow. I feel like, you know, with this being a more relaxing game, sometimes this is just nicer. It's just to take your time, really make sure you get every single little bit of it. Okay. Got it. and right over there. So 
I think, oh no, there's this side too, whoa. Just trying to get as much as I can. I think a lot of it is on the top of it, so that's what we'll be busy with. But now that I've done that, uh, is this enough for me to get on top of the bus? I I'm guessing not. We can jump pretty high, but not that high. So we'll need the ladder, which is right here. And this is where it gets fun. Pick up the ladder, put it about here. And we're already almost 80% clean this one. This one's a lot quicker than the previous level. So I think we'll probably do two levels in today's video. I don't know what's after this, but we'll see. Got it. Oh, Patrick's messaging us. Uh, I used to take this bus to school every day. That's so cute. I guess this bus has been around for a while. Well, we're gonna make it look as good as new, so that's good. Let's try to step in here. I'm a little scared, we're close to the edge. And, and they, and every day I'd have to give it back. <laughs> oh no! See, that's a better joke than Squidward's. Okay, let's go ahead and change our, our nozzle here uh, to this one. Just something a little bit wider since we're right in front of it like that. There we go. I see all this stuff up here. Got it. Oh, I didn't see the underside there. I don't think I can reach that very well from this angle or if I should really even bother with it. I don't think I should. I think I should leave that for later. Uh, should work on this a little bit. Here we go, got that front panel. And then I can go like this, ooh, all the way down, all the way back up. Get it nice and sparkly clean. Let's get that panel too. It's the top of them here that I wanted to work on as well. You can see the top of the window porthole kind of things. Got it. So much better. And then we'll go around one more time like this, because I do see on the tops there. I think for that, we'll just need a stool. Okay. But it seems pretty good to just do you know a quick pass through. We end up getting a lot of it anyways. So all the extra finer details, oh no, be careful. <laughs> we'll just deal with after we got all the easy stuff dealt with. Oh, I'm getting a lot of it here. Getting a lot of it right there. Perfect. Let's deal with this now. Okay. Ooh, got two of them right there. We're about to get a third, I think. No? Not quite. Saying that this panel still has some, oh, right here? A little bit there. And remember, I can hold the tab button to see more of it, but it does blink orange on top of orange, which isn't the easiest, but that's nice and clean. We're 96% now, so we're almost done. We're doing such a good job. Got some more here. So, this panel still needs some more somewhere. Oh, a bit over there, maybe? I think we're gonna hop off the top of it. Um, definitely, if I can jump on the tire. Oh, that's perfect. Because the frame here still has some more that needs to be cleaned somewhere. A little confused. Oh, maybe this? Under there, over here. Being very picky. Hmm. Okay, leave the rest of that for later. I'll work on the next one. There we go. I think I need the, uh, the stool for now. The stool will help me get up there a little bit easier so I don't have to jump over and over again. Probably making my character's knees all tired. Even then, I still sort of need the jump. Maybe it'd be better to get the ladder. All right, ready? Pick up the ladder, get back over here, and try this out. I do see a little bit more under this way and that way. Really trying to do the most with it. There we go. You know what, I think we need to change to a better nozzle. Something really that'll get in there. There we go, look at that one. Isn't there one that'll wiggle around a little bit, like this one? Here we go, that'll really get it. Okay, so same thing, whoa, not over here. I'm gonna pick this up, put it down. There we go. Got it. And then I do see little spots like that right there, ding ding. Nice. This, somewhere, what is it? The, the porthole frame still needs a little bit of work somewhere. It has to be all that stuff, right? We're getting closer, there it is. That was the rear panel, and then there's the porthole frame. So we're at 98% now. What about these ones? Oh, okay, these ones. They need a little bit of work. So 
It's mostly the frame. We get all the way up in here. I mean, it looks like we got it from there. Oh, I see a tiny little bit. There it is. Okay, I think that did the job. We are still trying to work through this thing, and I'm trying to look all the way over. Exactly what it could be. It's not under here. Ooh, I'm like, whoa, I'm on the edge of it. <laughs> there we go, that was something. So, the headlight. Okay, the headlight still needs to be cleaned from somewhere. Oh, under it, just like this. Gotcha. What about this one? This one's clean. I'm really running low on things. I think we just gotta do the same thing with the windows that we did before, just on this side as much as possible. Oh, I do see a little bit more right there. Should probably go get the stool again. We'll focus on the underside of things for now. I think that'd probably be better. It seems to be where the majority of it is anyway. Oh wow, there's actually quite a lot still gunked up under there. We're not letting any of that pass us by. Okay, same deal on this side then. This one really gets the job done now. I like it a lot. There we go, so that one already giving me the, the ding. Good on this side, not really. There we go, now we are. Got it pretty good there. I definitely see on the inside here, it needs some work. We're at 99% now, getting closer and closer. Hmm. Oh, definitely over here, got it. And then this one is so much. Got it. So what are we missing then? It looks like, here, turn that off. The rear panel somewhere still needs a little bit of help. There it is, we're at 99%. What more could there be? It's this porthole frame and the center panel. So, you see some extra gunk right there. Ooh, definitely up here. It's all up here for sure. More there, just a little bit more. That's it. And then this porthole, that one's done. This one's not, I see it, but I always have to get the store, the ladder. Got it. And then, sure, here's good enough. Cause we can just go like this and get it. What more are we missing that there's still something else around here? It has to be, yeah, I just saw it over here. Got it, that's almost everything. The headlight housing, which I think is this. Headlight housing, oh, this one, right? Oh, I see. I don't see, oh, under here. Got a little bit of it, but it still needs a little more help. A little bit more cleaning. There it is. The tail panel. That'll of course be on the tail. Tail panel. Oh, you know what, it's probably that little bit right there. I'm sure that helped, but there's still more waiting for us. What other part? This is the, the wheel or the tail tip panel. Hmm, weird. Oh, right there? Definitely right there, okay. Uh, and then the inner wheel, for which one? Oh, this one. Got it, we did it! So we completed cleaning up this bus here in Rock Bottom. Um, at this point, I think we can just yeah, watch the little thing. So we cleaned this guy up, no problem. I, I took a break to explore around. I wish we could see the different angles of it happening, but I think it's just this one. There we go, 100%. I never thought I'd say this, but that looks good as new, if not better. Thanks to you, the people at Bikini Bottom can get a real taste of what sophisticated humor and song should sound like. All right, well, that was a really cool job finished. And now our next one, the Krusty Krab. Bottom Peter Lane and Bikini Bottom. This one might take us a little bit more work. So here we are, are you ready? Whoa, it's both the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. Ooh, this might take us a while. This one's gonna take us forever. So I'll do my best to get started with this. What are you doing washing down the crusty crab? You should be helping me, incorrigible nitwit. Crab started it by covering up my chum bucket with a complex array of dirty circles. All right, if you say so, we'll help you both out, don't worry. Um, let's start with this sign. Since it is gonna take us a long time, I will try my best to be like as efficient with everything as we can. We got our enter sign over here. Get down this way maybe. Got it. Uh, do a little bit of this. But please, I'll pay you. Okay, well, payment accepted. So, sign, signpost, all good to go. Let's move on. Should I start with the smaller things and then make our way to the big things? I think that's a good idea. So, we will work on the big Krusty Krab sign now. 
So cool to get, you know, up close and personal with all this classic SpongeBob stuff and just get it sparkly clean again. Got it. Okay, so we'll definitely need the scaffolding for something as big as this. Okay, I think that actually might have been better off with right where it was. Okay, get over here. Because I think this is where we'll need our trusty extender. There we go. And then I will get down here as much as possible too. I might just want to switch to a little bit of a finer nozzle and make sure I have like my longest extender. There we go. This is actually working out pretty good because we have this, you know, full sign shell to com cl like complete clear up, clean up, do whatever we need to do. And so far, so good. I'm gonna try to leave most of the soap and stuff, I think for uh, the actual buildings. So it seems like there's a lot to do there. Just trying to clean up what I can, where I can from this angle. Well, they'll do the same on the other side, but I think I can get to the next level up now. Here we go. And then same deal. Whoa, look at this stuff. So messy. And it's just sort of like one big item, one big object. So it's gonna be hard to really get everything, but I'll certainly try my best. There a little bit with this. Hitting it from the other side and then going up there and hitting it from a different direction will definitely be helpful. But from here, it looks super good. And then we move up here and it's, oh, it does not look so good. Actually, I wonder if I can, yeah, even just from this part of the staircase, it's important to reach whatever I can. Got it. Now we'll go over here and sort of do more of the same. Clean off that crusty crab. We'll probably hop onto the shell here in a moment, but we got the crusty crab letters cleaned. Okay, I'll leave that phone roll a little bit closer. Actually work on the shell for now. This is going pretty well though. I do say. And of course, a cleaner establishment will mean more money for Mr. Krabs, which is something he'd be happy about. I don't think he'd be ha very happy about paying us, but it's a job worth paying for. Sometimes you do have to spend money to make money. And I think, you know, paying for a good cleaning is probably worth it. Okay, got some of this. I think we're just gonna jump on now. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't turning off there for a second. And this is where we can uh, switch to a closer nozzle because we're pretty close to it. All right, nice. So I do see these little yeah, sections under there. But this sort of top part, I mean, there's a little bit of risky maneuvers here. I'll have to make, just be very careful up here. I'm pretty sure Mr. Krabs wouldn't have workplace insurance, so if I were to fall, it would not be good for either of us. Okay, let's clean all this up for sure. Ooh, this is really, really gunky. Or we get a little ding for each and every letter. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm sure a couple of them still need some help, so a little bit of help here. So I will go through again in just a moment. So the K is good, the R still needs a little bit more. Uh, I think, oh no, that's the shell, okay, never mind. The letter's actually good. This one's good, that one's good. And I'm telling, of course, by looking at the, at the meter on the left, Okay, I think we're getting just about everything we can from this angle. We'll go ahead and get the, the grime from down here. We're getting a whole lot closer. So, let's head back onto our scaffolding, nice and safely if we can, and try this part out. Here we go. And then I will, ooh, get some of this. I might have to bring the scaffolding over to be a little bit more careful with that, but I think for now, as long as we can get these top parts, we're good too. I can actually, whoa, I can actually pick it up from here. This might not be a good idea actually, because I can't put it down at a normal place. Okay, we'll, we'll jump down, we'll jump down. Um, and then can I rotate it? Uh, yeah, like this, like this. Probably want to rotate it around like this, get it like that, boom, get back up there. But I should probably also, real fast, as much as I can, just try to get all of that. And if I could just get the underbelly of everything, 
because we are getting a whole lot closer. This is where I'll use this. There we go. This can be a pretty cool move, is just holding it like this and moving it around without having to move the camera around a bunch is always really useful. A little bit more of it here. I can just barely reach with this extra long extender. Cool. Okay, this is feeling pretty good. I think we're going to move our way up. You know what, let's actually change this to that. There we go, the sign pole is fully cleaned. So now we're just worried about the actual thing here, which still has quite a lot, but we're getting closer. The, the little meter is super low at this point. We'll go, a little, we'll go a little bit higher up in just a moment. Just need to find those different little angles for the back of it. It's a small corner as well, there's still a lot to do here. This is the small corners that can really catch up on us. So I think we'll do that, switch to this. Go through really quick with all this as much as we can. Got it. Oh, so the underside is the same thing. I didn't even realize. Getting closer. Let's go up one more level, I think. Yeah, for sure. And there we go, that was actually so good. So we'll do the chum bucket later. I think everything for the sign is nice and good, which is great. <laughs> I mean, I think the first thing for people, you know, they'll, they'll see the sign before they see the store, right? So you need to make sure that that is all nice and clean. Um, now we have a lot to do here. Let's make sure this is on the widest set setting and we'll just clean the floor of the Krusty Krab. Unfortunately, I don't think we get to go inside, which might be the sort of the biggest downside to this level, but you know what? It's still good to clean up, up the outside. Doesn't make sense to sort of power wash the inside. I feel like you'd flood it. Ooh, what about this stuff? If I were to change it to this, yeah, you can get rid of that little stuff. Interesting. I think for now, it's not worth worrying about too much. We're just trying to clean up the floor. But it really shows Krusty Krab on the chum bucket getting so much traffic. There's so many people coming by here to get some food. They must be doing pretty well for themselves. That's what's making it so dirty. All the exhausts of the boats driving by. Okay, so finishing up with the floor on this side. Cause I think that like that counts as the base of the base of the Krusty Krab. Oh, and there's a dumpster back here. Will there be rude remarks written on it? Should I look away? <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. What is going on back here? All kinds of weird mold. Crab smells, wow. Not anymore, he smells great because I made him sparkly clean here. He smells just as good as his finely cleaned establishment. That meets every health code uh, there is. I hope. Okay, getting some of this cleaned up a little bit more. Do the same thing over here. Well, that's a handsome Squidward over there. And then we will get some of that. Very nice. I think we got a good chunk of it. Of course, we can always pull up the uh, little dirt vision here to see a little bit more of it. Getting under the dumpster seems like the most difficult part. Well, we got it pretty good there. Just a little bit more on this side. This game is so satisfying though, I love it. Because the more I play it, the more I'm like, yeah, this is really cool. But it is cool how they really pumped in a lot of references to cool SpongeBob stuff in these levels so far. There's a lot of classic episodes I'm sort of remembering just through playing this, which is fun. Okay, got a little bit more there. Oh, Plankton. So, Mr. Krabs thinks that by defacing my superior eatery, he would render me too busy to concoct an ingenious plan to steal his secret formula. I don't think so, but maybe. Don't worry, I'll clean both of your establishments. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that he was capable of such a foul deed. I think he's just dirty. You know, things just become dirty over time. That's just sort of the nature of things. That's okay, that's why we're here to clean it up. 
I thought it was something only a real lowlife like myself would do. Don't be so self-deprecating. Okay, let's get some of this like that. I think we're about done with the floor. I might have to run through one more time or something, but I guess we'll see. There's a lot of the little stuff like this. It'd still be a bit of an issue. Like right over here. I might just go around the whole thing like this real fast, just to make extra sure that the floor is cleaned off. And then we'll make our way up the rest of the crusty crab. Got it. This also counts for you know everything else we're cleaning. I'm just trying to make extra sure. I want to make sure the, the floor is done, and then we can just make our way up. So far, so good. But it's still not enough. Just went around the whole thing. It seemed that there's a tiny bit. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing it a lot better now. This is why it's good to have the dirt vision. Here, we'll do this. Ooh, yeah, I definitely missed this stuff. So. There we go, we got it. So now we can work on just sort of the base of everything. I think we'll just sort of do the same thing again. Where I go through, clean it all up like this. Got it. This counts as the base of Krusty Krab. But man, you'd think it hasn't been cleaned in years, but that can't quite be the case. Luckily, you know, it comes off nice and easy. You'd think that the wood here would be maybe like more absorbent of the the, the dirt and the water, but it comes off just, just very easy. There we go. Still just working on the base for now. I don't wanna get carried away with too much more beyond that, but behind the ropes might be a tricky spot. So if I could get a little started with that. I'll definitely take the chance. I'm very happy that you know this DLC sort of introduced me to this game. Because a lot of you let me know that there's like a full story mode too where you can sort of uh, go through and clean a bu bunch of stuff. Okay, got a lot of this part of the base. Because that counts as the base, but this is like the arch. So we go back over here. This is gonna be, oh wait, these count as two different parts of the base. Oh, okay. So let me go through here then and just make sure why is this one not giving me a ding? Maybe over here. That's the base. Oh, probably this stuff then. Maybe not though. It has to be all this sort of snuck in there like that. So I should probably switch to this one. Really get in there just like we did. There we go, awesome. These ropes are also gonna be a similar issue. So I just wanna get started with those while I'm thinking of it. Ooh, that's really gonna take us some time is getting through on all those little spots. Okay, back to this. Just doing this part of the base now. And we go back through for our second run and work our way up here. Got it. So hopefully this one won't be as difficult as the first one. I mean, it's not really difficult, more so time consuming and a little tricky to look through and make extra sure we're getting everything, but we're getting there. Okay, that should be about everything for the base. I think it's just gonna be the same deal here again. So we'll run through like this, make sure that's all cleaned off and then up here. I'll get a little bit of it right now, but I'm mostly just focused on yet that part. I think we'll need to, right where the knot is, is where it's gonna be the most difficult, I think. So back to this. Make sure that's, oh wait, oh, there's plenty of stuff here. So that might've been more so what I'm missing, is just all of this over here. Because there's such a tiny little percentage left. There's gotta be a little bit that is of this. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right down here, got it. Okay, the base is cleaned. Now we gotta work our way through some of the other stuff. I guess we'll work on the front door for now. I will, I think now, since we have so much to do, work on soaping it up a bit. 
because this is the deep cleaner soap nozzle. Wood cleaner, I think I want wood cleaner, right? Oh, I don't think I had it equipped before. I was just sort of using the spray without the soap. This is really gonna work on it, especially on the wood. Let's not do, do it on the glass too much. All about the wood. And we don't have to worry about that on the chum bucket because the chum bucket is not made of wood, of course. That's pretty good. That really does make it a lot easier to deal with. So I think we'll go up here. Use the rest of it on the ceiling. Oh no, ooh, ooh. careful. Hopefully I can make this jump. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm a little nervous that I can't, but, oh no, I, I should be able to, whoa, no! <laughs> okay, that's that's a very dangerous job. Let's go like this then, put it here, go back up. And while I'm over here, clean up some of this part. I am running out of soap though a bit, so just gotta be careful. Get up here, oh, there's some jellyfish up here too. Really clean this up and out of wood cleaner, yikes. Okay, still better than nothing. Where is this jellyfish at? Ah, hi. <laughs> okay, they're hanging on, they're not hurting anybody. I'll leave them alone. Uh, but this is the metal cleaner, which we'll save for the chum bucket. Let's go with this then. I'll first focus on cleaning up the door with the first pass through. It'll get most stuff, but there's some closer things that I need to work on. Okay, that's where I go with probably just this one. Yeah, that's working a lot better. Those smaller nozzles put out a lot more power because it's all the same amount of water at the same pressure, I think. I'll just focus on smaller points so it shoots out even faster. And that's where, you know, you gotta be a trained professional to use equipment like this because it can be quite dangerous. Okay, got some of that. And uh, this door handle, oh, okay, I see. Really gotta get behind it. I thought they were like flush with the wall, but now that I'm looking at it, they aren't at all. Let's get up here, ooh, there we go. Better angle for sure. So that one's done. I might have to get under a little bit. Is both both door handles and the door are done. Um, the frame still needs a little bit of work, but I think that might be on the outside of it. Got that part. I'll get up here. There we go, there we go. And then back down, and boom, we're done. So let's try this window. I think I'll once again go with uh, a bigger one, and then we'll just go like this. And that seems to be working pretty well. All right, that window's finished. I'll clean up whatever else I can see around here. And we'll try this one. Back up, and just clean it up. <laughs> Go, go, go. Oh, you can see a little picture of a of a Krusty Krab burger there, a Krabby Patty. Under all that gunk and grime, we have some advertisements. There we go, Krusty Krab window cleaned. Now we can work on cleaning up this arch a little bit more. I think for this one it might be better, yeah, to do this. I have all these flags here too. This is the uh, maritime flag. Did they each have, oh no, I thought they each had a different name. I was like, oh, that'd be so cool but nope, it's all just part of the same. So we got in front of them pretty well, but behind them is what it's gonna be a little bit more of a pain to get. It's always like that with this, isn't it? It's always the sneaky little corners behind everything. That gets real difficult. We got a nail cleaned up. Is each nail gonna be its own thing? That might be a pain. All right, almost there. Hmm. The front of it though, looking pretty good at this point. I feel like we don't wanna go too high up. We need to focus on what we can actually reach from here and then we'll use the other stuff later on. And the ladders and the, and the scaffolding to get up, make it a lot easier for us. Let's get a lot of this rope in this window. Let's work on the window first. I think working on one object at a time is usually for the best, because if not, it's just so easy to get sidetracked and stuff. Uh, Mr. Krabs, don't listen to Plankton. He's gone and covered his own chum bucket in muck to try to uh, look all innocent. So he has. <laughs> I don't think I believe either of you. You've both done your own things that are very questionable, to the point where I, I just don't know if I believe either of them. You must think I was spawned yesterday. <laughs> 
little bit more left with this window though. It might be this stuff over here. Oh, definitely over here. Got it. Getting all the stuff in the knots of the rope is pretty difficult, but it's doable. So we'll do it. Get under here a little bit more. You think you'd be able to untie the rope and move it out of the way, and that would help, but I guess not. It's not how uh, the Krusty Krab does things. And I do see a little bit more over here. Ooh, this part definitely is a little hard to reach under there, though. Oh, and there's still like a bunch more up there. So we got the window cleaned. There's a lot more left with this rope, though which is concerning. Oh, because the rope goes all the way up there. So I think the rope will leave because it's just, it goes all the way up. But we'll start working on this side plank. Got it. I just gotta remember I can press tab to see a lot more, but okay, we got the one plank. You know what, now might be a good time then. We'll do a slightly longer reaching one. Oh, we got the rope with that? Okay, I thought we'd have a lot more left at the rope. I feel like some of it can be a, li a little bit more lenient than I'm expecting when it comes to like not having to clean up every inch of gunk. Getting up there might be a little bit more difficult. We need to hit that from above for sure. With this archway getting a lot closer. Hmm. There we go. Okay, I think that's about all we can do from this side. We'll work on this one now, go all the way back to the smallest extension, and go over here. <laughs> it really is just, you know, sort of, I don't wanna call it like mindless, it's very idle, this game. You really do just sort of turn off your brain and start cleaning things up. So sorry if there's maybe not, you know, the most invigorating things to say about every moment of the action, but no, we're still making our way through regardless. Ooh, this stuff is really caked on there. There we go, we gotta pass through this a few times to clean that off. This whole porthole. There we go, we got the, the window cleaned up. I'll get under here. And then this side still needs a full cleaning. We need to jump up in the air for that part. And then if we jump up from here, like that, there we go, porthole cleaned. Just gotta keep working on the rear, rear wall a little bit. Maybe I'll do that first. And then we'll go through again to get the door. There we go. And you know, one thing I haven't done too much, which I'm now thinking of could be pretty funny, is you could also, there's so much gunk and grime on this, you could just make a little smiley face. You could just Hi, that's cute, I like that. I don't know how I just now thought about that. It's what people usually do to like the rear window of their car. Okay, uh, got a little bit more over here. I think, yeah, that counts as its own thing. There we go, that's all clean, so we're just focusing on the wall, or the door now. Door to the back, this of course, uh, beside, behind this door is where SpongeBob is usually cooking up all the Krabby Patties. Pretty cool. I wanna switch over to, I think this one actually, to really get this stuff off. This seems more like rust on there. There we go. Got it. And what about over here? I think yeah, it's mostly the top of it now I have to worry about, which we just got it. Okay, we're nice and good there. I will start working on this part of the arch. I think the dumpster will wait for after we're done just the entire Krusty Krab building. And that'd be more of a fun way to do it. And I can reach some of this, so I guess I should get started with it, because it would be hard to reach this stuff from the ceiling anyways if we're sitting on the roof. So get to it now if I can. I will maybe work on the extension a little bit. Yeah, these nails, wow, all count as their own thing. That's pretty crazy. Okay, doing a pretty good job with most of this, but it's a lot of little things to clean up. All right. Once again, if I can just get 
as high up here as I can. Just because it'll be harder to reach some of the straight down angles on the roof. Oh, I got some more of the nails. So satisfying. Can I stand, oh, okay. This could be helpful. Let's get up here a bit more. Then I might just want to really make it easy for myself. Do this. Got some more of the nails and some more of those planks. Nice. Okay, that's all I'll do for there. Back to this one and this one. Get this side of the arch cleaned up. I will move the scaffolding for now. Well, we'll bring it back over in a moment. And I wanna work on this window. The window could probably use a little bit of a bigger one to start with. Through here, go back through. Same deal with this. There we go. And once we're done with this angle, yep, just clean it up like that. Over here. Gotta really get under the rope. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I think for that other underside, yeah, like that. This whole glass area is gonna be squeaky clean. You'll be able to eat off of it. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully he doesn't have us cleaning up plates and stuff later on. That's gonna be safe for the dishwasher. Okay, so that wasn't so bad, but there's still a little bit we're missing here with the window. Oh, probably back there. Got it. Oh yeah, you can really see it over here now. It's just hard, hard to reach it. A little bit more. Hmm. Maybe over that way. Not quite. What part of this window are we missing? It's gotta be like this stuff, right? There we go, got it. So now I'll work on the rest of this. For it, we'd probably need this and this. Maybe I can go a little bit bigger. Here we go. Going through with this as much as I can. Just go all the way from side to side. I should probably yeah, do a little bit of this, clean off the panel a bit more. This is getting the job done pretty well. Sure we're doing this faster than we can do it in real life. <laughs> so that's cool. Get up there if I can. This is working out really well for up there. I hadn't really thought about that too much, but if I could get this done now, there we go. Without having to worry about the scaffolding as much, that's a big deal. Some of the planks and stuff will still just need some help regardless, but I think that's about everything I can hit from this angle. We'll try over here. And be all done with that angle. Okay, so, so far, so good. We're reaching what we can. Maybe a little bit more over here. Okay, we got more of the nails cleaned up. Nice. Over this way too, I'll reach a little bit closer from standing here. Okay, so I think we're good to start climbing up the Krusty Krab. We got another plank cleaned. Okay, yeah. Let's get on top of the Krusty Krab then. I will pick this up, put it right here as close as I can. And ooh, from up here you can really see already how these panels can be touched up on. Got it. And then I think to see at that one right there. Sometimes I feel like with this level, it's been very giving with uh, how much you actually need to cover. So we're right in front of it. We can start doing this a little bit. There we go. Cool. Back over here, yeah, it's this inner part I really need to work on. That makes a big difference, for sure. Just trying to find out exactly what might be missing for this arch. There it is, awesome. The back side of these flags really needs to be cleaned. Oh, I see a little bit more there. Got it. 
Maybe I'll do a little bit smaller, a little bit farther out. That should probably do a better job. That's it right there. Look at how quickly and just cleanly we're going through all that. What about the actual, the flag rope? I mean, I think I got it as much as I can from this angle. Must be, I think the rest of it would be from a different angle that we can't reach right now. Whoa, oh, the jellyfish is buzzing around us again. I think we'll go to a shorter one again, and we'll go to a wider one here. Got it. Cleaning this stuff up too. Ooh, so this is the chimney right over here. Because all the exhaust from the, the uh, from the stove come out over here. Or the grill, sorry. Okay, so we'll clean this up as much as I can then. Got it. We're getting a little dizzy, dude. I gotta be careful, we're way up here. <laughs> Once again, we do not wanna fall. I guess it'd be less of us falling up from here than we would up there, but not too much of one. Okay, so once we do this, switch to a nozzle. That can, uh, yeah, push off all this stuff a little bit better so we can clean up this chimney. But I think the top of it's nice. It's just the nasty, really caked on stuff on the side. Got it. A little bit more over here. We are almost totally done with this. What little spot am I missing? Oh, on the inside of here is a little bit more. Now I don't know. There it goes, awesome. So back to cleaning up these planks. I'll do this. Okay, that's good. Up here, down here. I love doing the little walks where we just walk up and down, <laughs> sort of like vacuuming. Hmm, what more is waiting for us for this plank? I'm not quite sure. We'll figure it out eventually. I think I'll just keep walking up here. And the dumpster's still looking at me over there. I'll clean the dumpster soon. But it can make sense to clean up the dumpster last. But we're walking up here. Getting this a bit, and we still have the entirety of the Krusty Krab, but I feel like just how, like, com sp comparing SpongeBob's house to Squidward's house in the last video, this will be a lot more difficult than that will be. Okay, we finally get that one. Ooh, we should definitely work on this arch a bit, too. We cleaned up the other arch all the way. So if we can find a way to do that with this one, that'd be great. Patrick's messaging us. Um, what's covered in dirt has one round leg and likes hopping a lot. Uh... You guys are too good at this, I have no clue. Hmm. Uh, because whatever it is, it just left. Huh. I guess that'll remain a mystery. Okay, we got more of these to clean up. I'm almost done with this arch. I don't wanna fall off, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh, right there, that's a big one. So all these little spots we need to clean up now. We'll definitely work on this antenna a little bit too. Oh, there's a weather, I always think these are antennas for television, but nope, they're all weather vanes. Okay, go like that. I think we might need a closer one. Yeah, there we go, that'll really clean it off. A little bit more on this side. There's more on the top of it too. Got it. Get over this way. And work on this part. It'd be hard to tell with the sun shining in our eyes if we're really getting all of it, but getting a little bit closer. Probably just little bits at the top if I had to guess. Maybe I stand on the chimney if I can, just like this. That's helping a bit. Maybe I can jump, oh, whoa, look at us on top of the weather vane. Pretty extreme stunts. So what more are we missing here? There's some more on this, for sure I see it. Got it. What about these nails? This nail's done, that nail's done, this nail's done, and that one. Wait, wait, 
This one, all good. Just really trying to look at the tiny little details here. This arch still needs something somewhere. Probably on this edge. I think it's this edge. Yep, I see a little bit more here. Just trying to do whatever I can from the top of it though. Which it looks like I've really touched upon. So I will hop back down here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot with this I haven't really touched up on. Which I feel like I did a good job with it in the previous on the other side. So it really shouldn't be too bad here, right? But let's go ahead and get the extender on. Something like this. There we go, got the arch done. This wall plank proving to be tough. We get that one, this one, and then is it the rope? Nope, it's this wall plank for sure. If I had to guess, it's from up there, so maybe now's the time. We pick up the ladder, we put the ladder about, oh, I can't even put it up there, huh? But why didn't that work? There we go. It's definitely up there. Uh, I might just need the, ooh. It's too much of an angle to really get from here. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and get this real fast. Pick it up, rotate it around, because we want the platform to be facing the wall. And get it there. There it goes, right up against it. So we can get a really good angle with a lot of this stuff. Because the rope is done, it's just this plank, and you can see, there we go. And then this one. Got it. Okay, as far as I can tell, all of this is clean. And if that's the case, as far as I know, Unless there's like little nails, we might be done with the crusty crab. Okay, those are looking good. This is looking fine. It is sparkly around here. Over here, it was this stuff that still needs a little bit of a cleaning. We'll do this. The roof planks, I think, are good. It's just this rope somewhere on. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Right there. It'd be so tough to actually see and reach this stuff. You know, I think this might be a job for our trusty wiggle one. Let's wiggle around with this. What about those, this roof plank somewhere? Needs a little bit, okay, there we go. The rope, it's always the rope. I don't know what more I can do from these angles. Oh, there it goes, awesome! Now I think, wait, there's a little bit more somewhere. It's this plank that also needs a bit more. So, once again, really just try to get in there. Right there, maybe? Oh, I see, I see it. I was hiding from you before. Got it? Oh, right over there, I think that's it. Krusty Krab, ooh. It's almost all cleaned up. It's just, now it's this plank. I swear they're getting unclean as I walk around on them. What's the deal with this plank then? I don't see anything, it looks really clean to me. We can, oh, right over here. Okay, I can sort of see, I'm just trying to go around the edge of this. But it's still not enough. Got it, okay. I think for now we are actually, actually done all of that. That's good. So, what more can we do? We gotta focus on going all the way over here and trying to clean up the rest of the chum bucket. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna take us a bit for sure. But, we can go over there, put that there. Let's go ahead and work with the soap. Got the soap nozzle. We need to make sure that we have the metal cleaner on now. And just really get as much of the chum bucket with this as possible. I think this is a good idea. It does use it up pretty quick. But it really makes it a whole lot easier. There we go. And that soap spreads and really just cleans it up. I think I'll be able to get to the other side of it. It cuts out a lot of the work for us, right? Okay, refilled it. Oh, I refilled it too, we got a refill. Awesome. Not all of the time does it have a refill, it seems, but this time it does. 
Okay, don't want to have to worry about the, the door too much, because I, I think yeah, the door's made out of wood. Okay, if I have any more of the soap, I can use it for some finishing touches, but then more than that, I need to jump way up here to reach some of that stuff. And then, if we want to go all the way to the ceiling, that's where we can do some more things. Okay, so from up here, yeah, we get a this with soap, and then, ooh, one more, one more. Here we go. <laughs> the, the fist is gonna be a little bit of work to do, but I think, yeah, we can land up here, hit this stuff with soap too, and now we're out of soap. So, I will leave the rest of that for later. We'll just work on the front part of the chum bucket then, and see how we do. So, let's start with this. I don't have an extender on, right? I do have one on. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to clean up the, uh, all this stuff right here. Ready? This whole walkway. Which I could probably even maybe go with this. Yeah, that's fine. So, got that. It might be faster to do it this way, actually. This feels a little bit faster. We'll get the door after. There it is. Awesome, so let's work on the door. Oh, getting all the portholes and stuff clean. Got the doorknob. Looking good. Okay, what more with the door? Okay, get the little side pieces, that door. And then, right here. Got it. And for the wall. The wall is like this whole thing, so that's where it's gonna take a little bit more time. The lower rim, though, Really shouldn't be that bad, and because it's not too big, we could use this instead and really get it clean super powerfully. Got it. Wait, there we go. We're almost through the whole thing. Nice. So, we'll get it to be a bigger nozzle again and start just working our th way through this walls, because I think yeah, these count as like two separate walls. So if I could just work on reaching up as high as we can for now. We gotta go through again because some of the deeper pieces are just sort of really on there. And then we can get better attachments and stuff like that on later. But hey, equal Equal playing ground, right? If Krusty Krab is gonna be clean, so is the chum bucket. We wanna make sure that it's about the quality of the food, right? Not the quality of the establishment. Everything's gonna be nice and clean. So it's really up to the consumer to decide just what, what food is better. You don't have to worry about, you know, oh, the food is great, but the, the restaurant's nasty. Not on my watch. Might not be able to cook very well, but at least I can clean. We still have so much more of this wall to do, though. We're getting there for sure. Okay. Got it. And what about all this up here? Ooh, still so much more. So much more. Got it. Got some more of the chum bucket letterings, which each of these I'm gonna definitely have to hit from the other side. I think this is where we gotta use an extender, something like this. Should work pretty well. Maybe, uh, actually, I like this one better, but maybe this. We can just hit the bottom side of everything. I do see that deeper, the deeper levels of uh, dirt on that though. Okay, so let's get up there from here. Actually, should I do this now? Should I save it for later? Because we still have the backside, right? Or did we go through? We went through pretty well. I guess it won't hurt too much to try to reach this stuff, but that's where it does get a little bit difficult to reach, for sure. If I wanna get that, I definitely need to change to this nozzle and make sure we're in the longest reach. There we go. It still gets there, though, so. Might as well get the job done. And over here, same deal. 
Uh, Patrick, you're a genius. Those dirt circles on the chum bucket are exactly the same as those left on our houses on at Comp Street. So it looks like whoever did this is still at large. It's not Mr. Krabs, it's not Plankton. Let's investigate. You can't go around being a, a big dirt heaving hopper without someone seeing something. Tell me about it. Maybe it was a dirty bubble. I'd imagine, you know, he is dirty, it's a big bubble, he just pops and boom, dirt gets everywhere. Okay, let's switch to a larger nozzle here, real quick. Just to get some more of this stuff out of the way, because this wall is taking a long time. It's a glove there, but is there an outer rim? There is an upper rim, okay. Got it, just trying to get rid of all of that orange stuff at the end of the day, right? Now it works out really well, okay. okay. I'll switch it to this really quickly as we go up and down this part. Especially over here. You can see there's a lot waiting for us. Can I get this stuff from here is the question? I think so. Seems like it. It's stubborn though, very stubborn stains. Well, you can really see the difference on the handle when I did that. Cool. Okay, so what's sort of left for this wall? Lots of little stuff, but. We keep getting some more of it. I think we'll be good to go. Got it, okay, that wall's done. This wall is gonna be a little bit more difficult. That's where we get up here, I think. And I can at least change the extension back to this and just hit this at new angles every time. Okay, move over here and do the same thing. Just trying to really get every letter here because each letter has its own sort of progression bar. Get over to this side a little bit more. You can see all those pieces waiting for us. Oh my gosh. And getting up here and getting this all clean is definitely one of the more difficult parts because we only have like such a limit on like which ways we can move around. Definitely over there. Okay. It's getting closer. If we can hit it from above, that'll probably be what finishes it off for a lot of these letters. There we go. The B, the U, the C, K, E, and not quite enough for the T. There it is. Now the same deal here. Got the H, the U, not the M yet. The M's stubborn. Maybe right over there. Come on. That one is still, there's a little bit of something somewhere. I just don't know where. Maybe from higher up. Even though at this point, it seems a little silly to do from this high. It's only that one letter. It's missing something somewhere. We'll come back to it, we'll come back to it. I got plenty to do up here. Oh, I definitely wanna deal with that right there. There we go, so the front wall is done. It was just that one letter. Oh my goodness. Okay, back to this, and then, yeah, normal extension. Let's work on this outer rim. Really, this stuff right here that's just so hard to get off. Got it. I'll just make my way around circular, circularly, like this. And then probably do that again. Yep. Should I maybe change? Oh yeah, we should change to this one for sure. Didn't realize that we weren't. I always get the yellow and the green ones mixed up in terms of like their, their power. Okay. And I definitely will work on this part soon. I just wanted to get the rim, if possible, but it might not be super easy. I think I wanna go back to this, actually. There we go, that's a bit better. Cause I don't really see a better way to do this where it wouldn't just take forever. But if this works, I'd be happy. I'll have to see what is it to go around the whole thing. Just the rim for now, and then we'll go back and deal with the rest. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, that's gotta be it, right? Not quite, darn. 
It might be like the underside of it a little bit. We'll do this. Oh no, yeah, get back up. And start cleaning all of this out. This is where I wish I had some more of the soap. I'm pretty sure we're out of it though. Yep, out of metal cleaner. Such a shame. Go back to cleaning this stuff up. At least the outer layer of the, the gunk and grime. I'll have to go through a lot more with the, uh, the stronger, the stronger one, like this. But it slowly works. What's crazy is there, it must be like a, a work day or something because we haven't seen a single boat drive by this road. You'd think more would come down this way, seeing how you know so two of the biggest food places in town are here, at least one of them, and then their chum bucket. <laughs> I'm sure some people out there have to prefer the chum bucket more than they prefer Krusty Krab. Everybody has their own tastes after all. We just don't really see those characters because they don't really pertain to the main characters of the show. Okay. I'm getting a lot closer with this roof, but I guess I should really try to focus in on the bigger spots first. There we go, we got that. Can't believe we got that, but not the upper rim. There's a lot of little spots with it, but. All right, well, the, the roof is looking pretty darn clean here. I think we're good to just move on to the handle right over here, so. Let's try to get this a little bit. That feels pretty good. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to make the most of the scaffolding here soon enough, but I think we'll just do this. I'm gonna focus on the handle for now. There we go. And I'll try the underside of the big fist. I do gotta say, while Krusty Krabs is a classic, I do really like sort of this cool fist. This is a cool bucket idea with the chum bucket. I think it's a cool looking establishment. Maybe the menu isn't my my type. Definitely doesn't look like something I'd want to eat, but <laughs> the actual aesthetic to the chum bucket isn't so bad. But there's some good marketing opportunities here go. Cleaning that up a little bit. Just trying to make sure we get every little spot of it. And then over here, can I maybe change my nozzle to something a little bit wider? Oh wait, wrong way. There we go. I think that'll be good for the underside here. Just to make sure we get as much of this as possible. And then I might want to go into this mode for this spot. There we go. Oh, this is much better. I put this a lot more productive. Just trying to get the underside of it as much as I can. And then we'll go around with a scaffolding or something. I wonder if I could even, is there a ladder for this one? Oh, look at us. Whoa, resourceful. Can I use the ladder up here is the question. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. That's really what I was hoping for. Crazy that I could just grab it from that distance though. Not what I was expecting. So I think I might just have to use the scaffolding from here like this, which might not be the easiest thing, but maybe if we just keep washing this from here, it'll be fine. So I might change the nozzle a little bit back to this one. And I might have to switch to a longer thing. Something like this. There we go. And just keep working on the fist of this with a glove. The handle still does have a good amount that needs to be cleaned up if we want to be able to get everything done, especially down there, like the bold of it. I'm just trying to do what I can with what I got here. Oh yeah, definitely from this angle. All those different little crevices, I'll we'll have to clean those out. But over time, let me switch back to this mode. Over time, we're slowly getting it. We can even reach all that stuff. I, I figured that we might need a longer attachment soon enough. Maybe we're good for now. Very cool. Cleaning up that too. I think that's just about all that I can reach here. I will switch to this. Once again, just try to clean up a little bit more of it. In there too. And then with that done, switch out of this mode. Look down that way. That's about, about the best I can do there. So I think what we wanna do is jump off of it, pick it up, and then put it down, maybe right about here. I might have to, there we go. Um, got it. There we go. So with that, we should be able to head back up and clean up a little bit more. Running up there again. Let's do it from, ooh, this angle might be helpful to work on. We're in crouch mode right now, which is actually pretty useful. And just gotta make sure we use this dirt vision to really just clean up whatever we can. So that was pretty good. 
I'll stand back up from here. Get a little bit more over that way. And I think for the rest of this, I'll probably want to climb up there. But I think what might be nice is if I do this nozzle and like that, we can really get into there, clean up that little bit of it. That feels like it was a good idea. Okay. Oh, I hear a jellyfish flying around. <laughs> Let's go back to a more simpler setup here for a bit, just so that we can reach all of this. Okay. And I'll turn it like that too, there we go. We're getting quite a lot out of this. Awesome. And let's see. I think from this side, I'm gonna once again have to move it around, but if I could just jump up there, really clean that out. We're getting a lot farther along with it. I just unfortunately really can't get up there too easily. Once again, yeah, it wants me to actually fall down here to be able to place it. I just wish we could put a ladder against the glove. That'd make it way easier. Cause I'm a little bit worried there's gonna be dirt on the top of it and I won't be able to reach that. Will, will I? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now this part is definitely a bit tricky. You can see that there's some extra dirt down that way. I think I will once again change the nozzle because we are almost done with this handle. Sort of hard to tell what I'm missing with it. I definitely yeah, want to get behind the thumb there. Got it. We're slowly getting through all this. And it's nice to see as we're doing this, that percentage goes lower and lower. I wonder if I could make that jump. Whoa, I made it! Oh, that's actually a really big, big, big deal. That's great. <laughs> so using our platforming skills to get across, that's always nice. I think I want to go with the, something like this actually might be better. Just with how close we are at the moment, a wider nozzle might just work out a bit better. Maybe not as wide for this spot. Just trying to make sure I cover up as much as I can without falling off is the big goal. But there is definitely some stuff up here. Ooh, look at all this. Okay. So definitely clean this up now. So satisfying. So scrub this all clean. Turn around, do a bit more on this side. There we go. So, let's get around the rim of that, and then it's just a little bit more up here until we're good. Now it's this side that we gotta really focus on. After this, I'm a little confused on like what else could be, still be around. So, I have to like walk the perimeter of it. But getting down the side of that, Definitely seems helpful. Okay. Trying to be really careful. Okay, there's definitely a little bit of gunk and grime on the side here. Okay, I didn't fall off. That's nice. I might just want to land on this. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, we got it. And look at all that in there. Gotta crouch down real low. Oh, I can't even. Okay, maybe not a good idea then. <laughs> We're just playing this really dangerous. Power washing is a dangerous job. Very dirty one too, but you know what? It's, it's well worth it just to see the happy clients at the end of the day. Oh, here we go. Good angle for this too. Uh, hmm. Let's try to plop down here. Cool. We are super close getting it. This is it right here, but it's really hard to. I might have the switcher nozzle again. Let's do this and then do this. I'll crouch like that, and then we can really get into this. There it is, we got the, the glove cleaned. So all we're trying to do now is figure out the the handle, right? Which on this side, it's looking fine. If I jump back over here, really risky moves, but it's looking clean over here. So if it's not on like the underside, which it doesn't look like it is, and it's not on the other side here, it's gonna be like the two bolts. Okay, hold on. Got a little bit more up this way. That definitely makes a bit of a difference, but it's all of this stuff. So just get as much of it as I can from up this way, if possible. Well, the upper rim here too also needs some work. So maybe this is just where I utilize this. 
and I change to this nozzle. We go all the way back up as much as we can. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff I missed here. Oh, I guess there's some letters and stuff I definitely need to work on too. There's a lot to do here. So that part of the handle, is it the whole handle or what? There we go, the upper rim. So what else are we missing? We're 96% clean. I think it might be a lot of these letters. So once again, I'll hop off, I'll grab this. We will rotate it maybe like this. Feels like a good idea. I'm just trying to look all around that, what we could be missing. Because a lot of these letters seem like they're clean now. Yeah, so what are we missing? I wonder. Uh, I might just have to march around a little bit just to be extra sure. Because 96% is still like, 4% is quite a lot in this game. But I can start pulling up the, the thing in a moment. I think I'll do that now then. If we close this, press escape, we can see what we're still missing. Um, Chris, uh, the dumpster behind Krusty Krab. I totally forgot about that, I think. Look at how clean this is, we can see the reflection, but then this gross dumpster, look at this. Nematodes are people too. Fred was here. Sorry guys, but I gotta clean this stuff off. <laughs> we got the, the handsome Squidward, <laughs> as well as a little dolphin over here. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to maybe this. Really just try to clean this up a little bit. Might have to do a second pass through in a moment. Sorry Fred, you were no longer here. Your legacy is all gone. We just gotta do a couple of passes through this if we really wanna make sure we get rid of that stuff. You see a little bit more there. I definitely will have to get under, but there's some wheels and stuff too. So this is definitely what we missed. What do we got over here? Oh, it's a fancy Squidward painting. I love that one. Get another wheel cleaned up there. And then, yep, just get this stuff as much as I can. It's working out pretty well so far. This is like a, a, a a rim to the lid. That's sort of a tongue twister to say, but uh, here, let me actually do this one. What does that say? Do blank catfish, I missed that one. Barnacle head, a little acorn, maybe Sandy do that one. Camp coral for life, starfish rule. Can't disagree with that one. All right, we got all the wheels cleaned up now, so I'm just working on getting through all this, which with this one, wow faster, just sort of clean through, just like that, very cool. Awesome. There's no designs sort of uh, drawn onto the lid over here, so we can just try to keep cleaning this up. I think I might wanna yeah, change the rotation of it a bit. It might be easier, here we go. This is always much easier to control, like this. There we go, so we're just working on that lid part right there. Might have to get the scaffolding to get better angles later on. That's not so bad. Okay, change out of this mode. And just make sure this is cleaned up a bit more. Got it. And then same deal, but on this side. And that definitely helps out quite a lot. But we have this entire side of the dumpster to clean up. This one has the F-U-N. Oh, look at the triangle and the square to represent SpongeBob and Patrick. The ravioli, ravioli. Give me the formioli. And then finally, a little conch shell. I love all the references, it's so cool. Okay, cleaning through all of it. I'm so sorry, we're, we're removing the art. So I gotta take a picture after, right? There we go, so the actual outer dumpster is all clean now, we're at 98%, which is really exciting. I'm gonna use this stool oh, to jump inside, it's so dirty in here. How often do people power wash the inside of a dumpster? We go the extra mile for our clients. I mean, it's usually to be expected that a dumpster is dirty. There we go, we got rid of that. So let me just clean up this part of the lid. There we go. So now it's just the inside that we gotta really focus on. So I think we'll change out of this mode. Go like that. And did we get this lid? Um, the uh, room right here still has like a tiny bit somewhere. There it goes, we got it. What is this? The mayo jar! <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool! So is it an instrument or is it garbage? Who knows? A little bit of a mystery now. I'll have to find a different angle to clean some of that stuff up over there, but right now I'm just trying to work on the inner part of the dumpster. I think we're better off 
yeah, using the wider spray here just to really get a good coverage. Got it. Oh man, there's some deeper gunk and grime under all of that. We'll come back through that with a stronger nozzle. Right now we just wanna get that easy stuff out of the way. Yeah, let's definitely get some of that. Cool. So we go back through again, but with this one, and that cleans it off much, much better. You still have to do a couple of pass-throughs for sure, but it wasn't even really making a dent before. Some of it you would think is rust, but nope, it's actually sparkly clean. Good as new underneath, underneath all this stuff. Got it, okay. And I mean, I think that's all that there. So it's really just all this stuff behind the mayo jar, which certainly not the easiest thing to reach. I think this is where we rely on our very fancy tool really try to get some good angles like that. Got it. There we go, the inner part of the dumpster is clean, which means we just have to worry about this mayo jar. There it is. So, all we're missing is the Krusty Krab roof plank, the chum bucket handle, and the handle pin. I thought we got the handle. Maybe it was only the one part? Oh, I thought that was like one entire thing. Doesn't quite work that way. You can see it from here, so I might need to get a longer attachment. Something like that, we immediately get that figured out. Awesome. So we're just worried about a roof plank somewhere. There's quite a lot of the roof plank. So I think we pick this up, plop it down right there. Wait, got it. There. <laughs> and then let's go up one more level, take a big jump over and try to find that one, oh, one roof plank, here it is. I just don't really see what we're missing. So just. Let's just make our way through the corners of it. You can sort of see tiny little bits. And just do this. Let's make it a little bit closer. I am sort of seeing, I think this is working. Maybe. Or is it? Is it this one or that one? It's this one. Oh, I see it actually, sort of. This is weirdly not being super productive, but I'll just, there it is, we did it, we completed the job. So both the, the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket are sparkly clean. So we can exit this job. You can see our full progress here. Oh, it's so nice. So first we worked on the Krusty Krab, made that thing look good as new, like it's its opening day all over again. Then we walked over to the Chum Bucket. Gotta have fair competition. The entire uh, commerce area looking nice and clean. We got $300 as a reward, and now we can continue. So as you can see, there's still more to do. We can clean the paddy wagon next, but I think that's where we'll save it for some other time. If you guys wanna see me do more power washing fun, be sure to let me know. But for right now, I think we'll just head back to the main menu, <laughs> or I guess we'll just chill out there. So having a lot of fun with the SpongeBob SquarePants DLC here in Power Wash Simulator, it's just super satisfying to clean everything. So definitely let me know if you wanna see more. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Power Washing Simulator. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.